You made it! This is the final step in the Top Solid Modeling tutorial. In step 14, we're going to introduce you to the concept of what we call a radial drilling. In this case, we're going to put a spot-faced hole in. We'll show you how easy it is to put a drilling in a non-planar face. We're going to end this tutorial by showing you one of the most fantastic aspects of Top Solid, which is drag and drop functionality. That's right, we're going to show you how to literally drag and drop features from one face to another face to speed up your design. Ready to see how it works? Okay, welcome back. We're now on the last step of this basic solid modeling tutorial. Let's see what they have in line for us. Cool. It looks like we get to do some radial spot-faced drillings. That should be fun. This is super easy to do out there, right? To make a drilling on a non-planar face? Well, let's see how easy it is. Here what I'm going to do, I'm going to flip this back over and check this out. I'm going to right click right on the cylinder and go straight to drilling. Top Solid is way smarter than us. It anticipates your moves. It says, okay, you're on a cylinder, so we're going to go to radial position for you automatically. All we need to do is set up the drilling type. I mean, how cool is that? So this drilling is meant to be a quarter inch diameter, 60,000 steep, and the through hole is meant to be an eighth inch through all. Okay? From here, we just have to set the angle that we want and the location. So here, quarter inch is perfect. And for the angle, if you grab this grip, you can see you can rotate this all over the place. We want 90 degrees. This way, it's normal to one of our axes, which is perfect. And we're going to validate. And then we're going to go do the same thing over here, but we're going to do that one in an awesome way. Just like with Windows, Windows has drag and drop. Top Solid 7 also has drag and drop of any of these solid modeling features I've shown you. Here's what I mean. I'm going to hold control down on the keyboard. I'm going to grab the face of the drilling and I'm going to drag and drop it somewhere else on the model. Notice and let go. Perfect. Done. Now I'm going to double click on the face of it and set this to the angle I want, which is 90 degrees there. The height of it should be a quarter of an inch. Looks like it is. Perfect. Done double click on the face like that we've just added those radial drillings in a few short seconds in all reality didn't have to mess around with anything